Hey guys, Assalamualaikum and good day to all of you. So, welcome back to this channel. So, in our lecture series, right now we are in uh, chapter 1, the fifth lecture of chapter 1. Uh, kita dah move on to masuk to the final subtopic in this chapter which is stoichiometry. So, in this subtopic, kita akan fokus pada dua benda lah. Yang pertama, in term of balancing equation. Yang kedua adalah solving stoichiometric problem including the concept of limiting vector and also concept of percentage shield. Okay, so in this lecture, kita akan fokus pada balancing equation dulu dan kita akan tengok several part of uh, oxidation number ini. I won't go in detail. And kita akan tengok, focus on how to balance a redox equation by using ion electron method. So, without further ado, let's move on to the next part. So, what is stoichiometry? Basically, kalau kita tengok equ chemical equation, daripada reactant, it can be converted into product. Okay, and we have some sort of numbers in front of here. The numbers actually is known as stoichiometric coefficient. You have to know in general when writing a chemical equation, your left hand side will always be your reactant and your right hand side will be your product. Okay, so reactant akan menghasilkan produk. Okay, and nombor-nombor ini adalah kita panggil sebagai stoichiometric coefficient for a balance equation and it can be done in two way. The first one is by using inspection method. The second one is by using ion electron method. Okay, it's raining cats and dogs out there, so hopefully the sound will be crisp and clear. Okay, let's move on. So, how to balance equation by using uh, inspection method. So, basically, dia ni, uh, step dia, dia ni, uh, ni adalah step dia. Okay, but generally, kita just tengok based on left hand side equal to right hand side. Itu saja. You don't have to worry much about this. What do I mean by this? Have a look at this example. Okay, kita akan tengok element by element. Okay, so kita ada element... We have nitrogen, we have hydrogen, we have copper, and we have oxygen. So, kita tengok. Nitrogen sini satu, sebelah sini ada dua. So, kita kena darab dengan dua. Hydrogen. Hydrogen tiga, darab dua, so jadi enam. Sini ada dua. So, kena darab tiga. Copper sini satu, sini satu. Tak ada masalah. Oxygen sini satu, sini tiga. So, you kena darab. 3, but since you darab 3 dekat sini, copper ni pun you kena darab dengan 3. Check balik. Nitrogen 2, 2, hydrogen 6, 6, copper 3, 3, oxygen 3, 3. So, left hand side is equal to right hand side, so dia sudah balance. Okay, next one. Tengok sini, aluminium 1, aluminium 2, so darab. 2, hidrogen 2, hidrogen 2 tak ada masalah, sulfur 1, sulfur 3, so kena darab 3, oksigen 3 darab 4, 12, 3 darab 4, 12, but you kacau hidrogen tadi kan, so sini pun kena darab 3, check balik, always check, aluminium, hidrogen, sulfur, oksigen, aluminium ada 2, sini ada 2, hidrogen ada 6. Sini pun ada 6. Sulfur ada 3. Sini pun ada 3. Oksigen ada 12. So, sini pun ada 12. Bila left hand side is equal to right hand side, the equation is balance. Alright? So, why not you try to do this on your own? Okay? Try to do it on your own. Okay? Kita move on to the next one. Redox reaction. Kalau kita tengok redox reaction ni, okay, redox reaction is actually reaction yang involve reduction and juga oxidation simultaneously. Both happen together. Okay, oxidation akan ada species yang hilang elektron, reduction species yang gain elektron, uh, oxidation gain and increase in oxidation number and they also act as reducing agent and vice versa lah. So this one, kita tak tengok detail sangat sebab later on, kita akan discuss lebih banyak dalam chapter 3, semester 2. Right, so in order to determine oxidation number, there are several rule. The first one, kalau element atau uh, ataupun neutral molecule, ada atom, dia punya oxidation number is actually zero. Dia sama saja dengan dia punya ni. neutral kan, so kosong. Next, kalau di monoatomic ion, charge dia sama dengan oxidation number. Contoh, ini adalah sodium, positif kan, so dia adalah plus one. Klorin, negatif satu. 
Okay, and so on lah. Kalau kata compound tu neutral, so ox total oxidation number is zero. Manakala, kalau dia adalah polyatomic ion, total oxidation number is equal to the charge of the ion. Contoh, ni hasil dia adalah basically S tambah 4 oxygen is equal to minus 2. Okay, total dia sama dengan negatif 2. Same goes here, kalau kata alkali metal, group 1, ataupun alkaline earth metal, group 2, okay, charge dia adalah positive 1 and positive 2 respectively. Okay, while kalau kata oxygen, oxygen memang biasanya negative 2. But there are some instances where the oxygen have different oxidation number, which are minus 1 ataupun plus 1. Minus 1 kalau dia adalah peroxide and plus 1 kalau dia gabung dengan fluorine. Okay, ni tak payah hafal actually. Sama juga, kalau kata kita tengok hydrogen. Hydrogen generate adalah plus 1. Tetapi, kalau hydrogen tu attach dengan metal, dia akan jadi hydride. Okay, hydride ni adalah hydrogen yang bercharge negatif. Okay, and another one, kalau kata chlorine, uh, halogen, group 17, is always negative 1. Okay, Tetapi, chlorine, bromine, uh, uh, apa, sorry, uh, fluorine, dia ada cases bila dia gabung dengan oksigen, nilai dia lain. Chlorine pun akan jadi lain juga. Okay, generally, memang biasa negative 1 lah. Okay, contoh, different oxidation and name of chlorine. Kita ada chloride, hypochloride, chloride, chloride, perchlorate. Okay, kita tengok bilangan oksigen yang berbeza, oksigen number dia pun berbeza untuk chlorine. Okay. So, these are several polyatomic ion that you have to know in order to balance the uh, into general knowledge lah. Okay, kalau saya tanya, nanti make sure kamu tahu benda ni. Okay, assign, okay ni kita try tengok lah kan, nak cari oxidation number. Alright, so kita diberi, we will ask to determine the oxidation number of chromium. Okay, so chromium ada dua, tambah dengan tujuh. Oxygen is equal to minus 2. Okay, we know that the oxidation number of chloro oxygen is typically minus 2. Is equal to minus 2, 2 chromium is equal to 14, pergi sana adalah plus 12. And then therefore chromium is equal to plus 6. Tanda positif dan negatif wajib diletakkan untuk menunjukkan oxidation number. Well, walaupun nilai dia positif, you have to indicate the positive sign. Okay, another one. Determine the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfate. So, sulfur tambah 4 oxygen is equal to minus 2. We know that sulfur is equal to oxygen is equal to minus 2. two so, ini adalah sulfur is equal to positive 8 minus 2. Therefore, your sulfur is equal to plus 6. Okay, so this is how we determine the oxidation number. Okay, okay. Ah, ni recap balik lah tadi. Ah, ni adalah chloride, chloride, uh, hypochloride, apa uh, perchlorate and so on. Okay, so why not you try to balance this equation by using inspection method? Okay, kalau kita tengok di sini, Fe sudah ada satu, sudah ada satu, so tak boleh buat apa apa. Mn ada satu, ada satu, tak boleh buat apa. Jangan terpedaya. Ini adalah charge dia. Charge dia lain. ya. Charge bukannya bilangan dia. Charge tak boleh balance dengan darab stoichiometry. Okay? Dan kita tengok di sini ada 4 oksigen. Sini tak ada oksigen. So, if you want to try to balance this, it will be quite hard. So, what we can do here is, kita kena tengok cara lain. Okay? It is actually impossible to balance this. And the only way to balance this is by using ion electron method. Okay. Ion electron method ni, kita akan focus on in next video. Lecture 5 part B. Alright, that's all. I see you in couple uh, in next video. Bye.